On Bishop Barra's YouTube channel, you will find exclusive content to uplift your faith. The Word of Faith with Bishop Macedo. Live meetings from Bishop Barra Fonseca. Testimonies, thoughtful advice, prayers, and much more. Do you like it? Then subscribe today and share the videos on your social network. You are listening now to A Word of Faith with Bishop Macedo. Hello, my dear listeners. May God bless you abundantly. The life of all those who believe, all those who believe on God's word, and that obey and seek to practice in a way that is true, sincere, and transparent. May God bless your life, my dear listener that you are in this condition of believing and seeking. You want to learn. You, you are that kind of person that wants to learn. You want to learn to live by faith, to live faith in faith. You want that to be that kind of person that is truly blessed. You want to be a person of God, a person that transmits peace and brings assurance and has within something that is extremely important, which is more valuable than anything that this world may offer. It doesn't matter, because when you receive the Spirit of God, you are able to become a true happy person. Yes, the happiness will never, was never something im unimaginable, especially to those that believe in the God of Abraham, in the God of Isaac, and in the God of Israel. But of course, it is obvious that when a person believes, when they just believe to believe, not according to the Bible only, because when the Bible says, believe in the Lord and your house will be saved, it doesn't mean that you just believe in Jesus. Oh, I believe in God. No, that's not enough. The true belief involves true commitment. It involves a true surrender unconditional to the Lord Jesus. Because when a person truly surrenders, when a person empties of themselves and they surrender 100% on God's altar, so then they receive in exchange God's Spirit, the Spirit of the creation, the Holy Spirit. When they receive the Holy Spirit, so then they become happy, they become satisfied. It's true. And you know, I'll tell you more with all sincerity be, before God. I do not know what else this world would have to add in my life. Absolutely nothing. No one. Not even people. No money, glory, glamour of this world is capable to add. To add in my life what I already have received. The Holy Spirit. He is glorious. So, when we have the Holy Spirit, what else are we going to ask God for? 
What else are we going to ask? What should I ask for myself? So, I have been living, seeking to do exactly what Jesus said. He said, he who believes in me, he who believes in me, as the scriptures say, from within them will flow living waters. So, when we have this assurance, we have the Spirit of God. And when we have God's Spirit, then we want to give, we want to offer, we want to share and spread that joy. We want to give, it's like Jesus says, the Holy Spirit is like a fountain, and He makes us to be like a fountain. How a fountain? You know that a fountain is always flowing, always flowing, flowing, fresh water, clean water. And the water that God, that God makes us to be fountains of is the fountain, that is the water that comes from God's throne. And when you receive the Holy Spirit, you become extremely happy. You become a gift, a true gift of God for this world, for those that are in need, those that are thirsty. So, the scripture that Jesus says about this topic, Jesus, he said, in the last day, in the great day of the feast, the feast of the first fruits, a feast in which one of the the feasts that is considered in the Jewish calendar. And in those days he said, he rose among them, among, in the end of the feast, on the last day of the feast, and he said, he spoke out loud, he manifested and he showed his desire, his greatest desire to make each person to be a personal feast. Yes, you know what it is for you to be to live in a feast. Although all the battles, that's what Jesus spoke on that day, and that's what he is bringing to us. And he says, if anyone, if anyone is thirsty, not the thirst of this world, or thirsty for money, you will not be satisfied. To be famous. You are not going to be satisfied. Or to be married or build a family. This is very important. But it, it doesn't satisfy our thirst. Because when we drink of the water that Jesus gives, He makes of us a fountain. He makes of us true happy. So we are always in happiness. Because the Spirit of life, the Spirit of the Most High, the Spirit of God, He flows through us. And this is only possible for those who are thirsty and they are seeking of Him. It's what He says, If anyone is thirsty, come to Me and drink. And drink. And then, there is that question, but Bishop, I already drank, I have the Holy Spirit, but I want, Bishop, you know, I have my dreams, my personal goals, so you didn't drink of the water of life. No, you haven't drunk yet. No, you did not. But Bishop, I want to fulfill my own projects, so then you haven't drunk of the water of life. No way, I'm sorry to be so so frank, so truthful to you. Because when we drink of the water that Jesus gives, we become the blessing ourselves, the fountain ourselves. And because we are the fountain, our main concern is not with our personal life, our future. Our concern is to help others to drink of this fountain as well is to give to them the opportunity that we are drinking, to be happy as we are. And this is God's dream. So when I receive the Holy Spirit, I let go of all my dreams, my personal dreams, on the side. And I chose to drink, to make the dreams of God come true. 
because I'm so happy and so happy that this world is no longer interesting. Simply because I have it all. I have all in which the human being can have to be happy. So Jesus says, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. And then he complements or completes by saying, He who believes, he who believes. So I mentioned that to believe is not just to believe in God alone. To believe that Jesus talks about is that true surrender, unconditional surrender, and you devote yourself to the Lord. But how can I surrender to God if I don't see Him, Bishop? Jesus is a spirit, and he wants you to surrender yourself to him. He wants you to devote to him your body, your mind, so that he can dwell in it, so that he can make of your body the temple, dwelling place, dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. So, when the Holy Spirit makes dwelling place in us, we we become a fountain, a fountain that flows to eternal life. And that's why he says, he who believes in me, or meaning he who surrenders to me in an unconditional manner, 100%, as the scripture said, not like people say, not as religions say, but as the Scriptures has said. So he who believes in me, as the Scriptures has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. And then you say, but I have a doubt, and my doubt is this. I am a religious person, I am a good person, I have been charitable, I've been helping, if I can help, I can do, I am a person that is sincere, good, and this and that, well, God knows you are a good person, He knows if you are sincere, but if you still but if you still nurture in you, inside of your heart, a personal desire, a personal goal, a personal dream, it is because you have only drunk of a religious water, not the water that the Bible, that the Holy Scriptures have said. So, you are still thirsty, even though you have the world at your feet, even though you have your finances, money, you have financial condition, you have a great family, but within you there is an emptiness. Within you there is a void. Within you there is a thirst, and you do not know how to quench this thirst. The only thing you feel is that within you there is something like hollow. A hollow. You, are, you have a, a gap. And this gap does not allow you to be happy. You go to the clubs or the parties. You go to the, to the parties and you still feel empty. You go to the movies. You go to the theaters. You enjoy yourself. You have entertainment. You have your friends. You even travel. You have a life that is rewarding, we can say. But you still carry this hollow, you still carry this emptiness, this void within you, and you have done everything that your, your flesh desires, your heart desires, but you cannot fill this gap. And how come? Because this gap can only be filled with the water that Jesus says, that He gives. And He says, He who believes in Me, meaning whoever is surrendered 100%, just as you surrender to religion, if you have surrendered yourself to me, as the Bible says, as the scripture says, so then rivers of living water will flow, rivers of living water will flow from within you. And he said this in regards to the Holy Spirit, the Spirit that they were going to receive, those who believe in Him. Those who believe in Him would receive, but those who, who believe, 
as the scripture says, not according to religion, not according to how people describe or say. It's according to how it is written in the scriptures. It, is, it must match the scriptures. So, if you believe in Jesus according to the scriptures, so then, the scripture says, the scripture teaches that we must surrender to empty of our own selves. We have to get rid of everything that is within us. The first cannot, cannot be parents, son, daughter, mother, father. The first must be the Lord Jesus. He must be the first. He must be the first, like the fruits, the first fruits. So God wants you to be the tithe, because the tithe belongs to Him. So the first fruits belongs to Him. So when you place on the altar your life, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, when you say, Lord, you know, I have been raised in suffering. I have been born in a wrong lifestyle. And I was not born to come. I wasn't born because I wanted to come. So, when I graduated, when I completed, I was happy. But then right after, I ended up being the same. All my intelligence, all my information, all my knowledge... And then I got married, and I thought, now I'll be happy, and I was still empty. Then I had my first child, my second child, and now that I'm going to build a family, I'm going to be happy. And till now, I am still void, I'm still empty. And why? Because you have not yet surrendered to your first love, which is the Lord Jesus. You have made things, achievements. You have made of your professional life, your career. You prioritized everything except the Lord Jesus as first. So then you still find yourself empty. But when you take a decision to surrender, to give your life 100%, then your life becomes filled and the Holy Spirit comes. Let me make it better. This is how it takes place. When we truly surrender, 100, when we surrender 99% to the Lord Jesus, nothing happens. Nothing happens. It only happens, it only happens when you are 100%. All yours, all belong to you. Everything that you have, everything that you hope to be, any, everything you dream of, you surrender to the Lord Jesus. And in return, He gives you His Spirit, which is also all. So it is your all for His all. And that's what happened with me. One day it happened to me. And I just want to, you, my dear listener, to understand and know this. And we cannot hide this. The Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, is the Lord Jesus, is the Lord Jesus in spirit. So, when you receive the Holy Spirit, you are receiving you are surrendering, you are, re you are give, receiving in your life the Spirit of Jesus Christ in spirit inside of you. And the Lord Jesus within us. Can you imagine? In the past, he was side by side with the disciples. But now, he is within us and occupying our soul, occupying our life, in the person of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. I keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up. Just the sum of every high and every low
Remind me once again just who I am because I need to know.